crimes that you have committed and the harm that you have caused cannot be overstated. You took a human life, and you did so in the most callous and heartless of ways. You robbed a five-year-old girl, your own daughter, of the life that she was to lead. You stole from your sons a sister. You took a daughter from her mother. You were convicted of reckless second-degree murder. Reckless in this context does not mean something that was an accident. It is defined under law as something <clears throat> that manifests the extreme indifference to a human life. Your extreme indifference to the value of human life is seen in so many of your actions in this case. In 2019, you beat Harmony. In the words of your uncle, her, file, her eye was fully black and blue like a raccoon eye, is what he said. Your words, when asked, were, quote, I bashed her around the effing house. And then you hid her from the view of others, and you kept her from those that came to help her. On the date that you murdered her, you didn't hit her once. You punched her in the head repeatedly. You beat her in the car while at stoplights more than one time. You knew that she was severely injured, yet you covered her with a blanket and didn't check on her until after you took her lifeless body from the car. And then, after her death, you treated her body like it was trash, worse than trash. You did unimaginable things to her body, and all in an effort to save yourself from being discovered as her murderer. And then, on top of that, you threatened, abused, and beat your wife to keep her silent. Your criminal history similarly reflects your extreme indifference to the value of human life. Your actions having taken both a physical and emotional toll on so many. In 2008, you were convicted of criminal threatening after pointing a knife at a 15-year-old girl. In 2010, you were convicted of armed robbery and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon in a home invasion incident in which it was reported that you held up a woman at gunpoint, terrorizing her to the point that she lost control of her bodily functions. In 2009, you were convicted of first degree assault for stabbing another person. In 2014, you were convicted of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon and larceny in a case in which it was reported that you shot a man in the face. In 2019, you were convicted of two counts of armed career criminal, two counts of theft, and two counts of receiving stolen property, all of the charges stemming from the thefts of firearms guns, exchanges of guns for drugs and money. The court has to consider three primary goals of sentencing, punishment, deterrence, and rehabilitation. The focus today is on your convictions in this case. Second degree murder, falsifying physical evidence, witness tampering, abuse of a corpse, and second degree assault. But the prior convictions are important. And they're important as well as each of them reflects not just your extensive criminal conduct, but each of them represents an opportunity after sentencing for you to have changed the trajectory of your life, to change how you were treating other people. But you were either unwilling or unable to do so. And as a result, at this point, the court has the responsibility to impose a sentence that not only punishes you harshly for the crimes that you have committed, but considers deterrence, that is, how to keep you from hurting others. In light of the egregious nature of the crimes of which you have been convicted in this case and taking into consideration your extremely violent criminal history, the court finds the only way to do this is to keep you off the streets. To the extent, to the extent you seek to re rehabilitate yourself, you, that will have to happen behind the prison walls. Harmony was an innocent five-year-old girl. You treated her in the worst of possible ways, in both her life and in her death. Therefore, the court sentences you as follows. On charge ID 2027112C, the charge of second degree murder, you are sentenced to the New Hampshire State Prison for not more than life nor less than 45 years. That sentence is stand committed. That sentence is consecutive. Uh, all of these sentences, I should say now, are consecutive to each other, uh, as well as consecutive to docket 216-2022-CR-577, which are the, uh, the sentences that you're currently serving. Additionally, uh, 
you're to participate meaningfully and meaningfully and complete any counseling, treatment, or education programs as directed by the correctional authority or probation parole. Uh, law enforcement agencies may return evidence to its rightful owner. You are ordered to be of good conduct and comply with all the terms of this sentence. Uh, this is also consecutive to the second degree assault charge in the docket ending in 2-0. Uh, that is charge ID 1937947C. Do you have any questions about that sentence? Nope. 